My name is Carmel Buckley. I'm the Director of the Nursery and Midwifery Planning and Development Unit. I'm based here in Cork and I cover Cork and Kerry. And I was asked to offer the closing address this evening. I are today. I'm aware that we're on time, so I won't delay you because I know you will want to get out into this nice weather. This is the third and final Quality Care Metrics launch and celebration event, and I won't apologise for being biased and say, I think you kept the best to last. <laughs> <laughs> On reflection on what we heard today, Nursing and Midwifery Quality Care Metrics National Project was conducted to improve the measurement of quality nursing and midwifery care in Ireland. As nurses and midwives, we are all engaged in numerous healthcare activities and interventions where our knowledge, our clinical experience, and our professional judgment guides our practice and it guides us to ensure the delivery of high quality and safe care. Measuring outcomes is an important indicator for healthcare and it provides a retrospective view of the quality and safety of care. I'd like to start by thanking all our speakers here today. I think you'll agree they were excellent. Every one of them. Every speaker provided an interesting overview, either the background of quality care metrics and quality initiatives, or indeed from the, the perspective of the service. And Mary Ellen, your presentation was outstanding. Thank you very much. I suppose we, were, we listened to engaging and encouraging examples of the benefits and also the potentials for quality care metrics across the health services. Anne Gallen opened the event with a definition and an overview of quality care metrics. Anne reminded us that we need to remember to celebrate what we have as nurses and midwives and also to acknowledge what we have achieved and quality care metrics would be one of those quality initiatives that we have very much successfully achieved so far. That same theme was continued in the presentation by Mary Wynn, Mary, the director of the ONMSD, and she outlined the drivers that supported this project, and specifically the responsibility of nurses and midwives to ensure the delivery of high quality, safe care. This, of course, this delivery is done with the backdrop of our nursing and midwifery values of care, compassion and commitment. The ONMSD have to be congratulated. They had the conviction to undertake this research project and to develop an evidence-based metric system and a total now of 91 metrics for the seven work streams. And these work streams, as we've heard, are acute, children, intellectual disability, mental health, midwifery, older person services and public health nursing services. Mary reiterated that this is a continuous process. The ONMSD have been supportive in establishing the quality care metrics and we've, as we have all heard, also the expansion going forward in the future. The contribution of quality care metrics to safe practice was outlined in the presentations from the services. Our first presenter, who was very passionate, and she admitted she was very passionate, in fostering a culture of quality improvement in her organisation, was Breda Crotty. And Breda is a CNM3 in the University Hospital Waterford. Breda explained that measuring midwifery processes of care was undertaken in order to identify areas of good practice that need to be acknowledged and also in the experience of University Hospital Waterford to identify areas for practice improvement. You give examples of medication prescription, medication management and documentation. And you outline the impact that this can have on care. The resources that have resulted from the introduction of quality care metrics in your hospital include the e-learning program for prescribing, medication prescribing policy, medication incident report form, and the education support. You reiterated that quality care metrics has definitely improved 
medication management and also has assisted in the plan of military care from the booking visit right through to discharge, which ultimately improves patient care outcomes, which is our aim. Our second presenter, Ms. Elizabeth Healy. Elizabeth is Assistant Director of Public Health Nurses in South Lee. And Liz, as we call her here in Cork, Liz provided examples in practical terms of how measurements can help minimise the risk for patients. Liz outlined the four quality care metrics that are being measured by the Public Health Nursing Services. They are discharge planning and caseload management, NMBI guidance, care plan and nursing assessment. For Liz, quality care metrics means that it supports staff to address the deficits in the areas such as documentation. It helps staff to critically re review their practices. And obviously the common theme that came through a number of presentations was in the area of documentation, abbreviation was one area that really needed to be addressed. You outlined the benefits in that you identified your need in terms of education programs and a number of those education programs have already been delivered. Nora Fitzgerald, who is a CNM2 in Intellectual Disability Services in COPE in Cork, outlined the journey for quality care metrics that was undertaken by the nurses within the ID services in COPE. And at the moment, uh, the I quality care metrics have been introduced into 15 areas within the COPE services. The staff and Nora, indeed, they, she outlined how they used measurement to demonstrate areas to improve, areas of improvement, and the achievement of standards. The examples that Nora provided included, again, medication management, NMBI guidance, and she talked about the personal plan and information and environment, and the importance of a safe environment, not only for the patient, but also for the staff. The assurance that this data is evidence of care delivered was reiterated. And I know you googled a number of uh, quotations, but my favourite one was, without data, you are just another person with an opinion. And that's very true. Our final presenter from the services was Ms Kay Slattery, and Kay is the Director of Nursing in Kilcreen Regional Hospital in Kilkenny. Kay provided examples of the impact, again, of quality care metrics across all of the acute hospitals in the South Southwest Hospital Group. <coughs> Kay talked about medication management and assessment. Again, nursing documentation came to the fore, patients' observations and patients' experiences. Kay married the four themes of person-centred care, effective care, safe care, and better health and well-being to the implementation of quality care metrics. The resources that you identified that have been put in place included education, and again, to reiterate what one of our speakers said earlier, your education is being provided to the MDT, which is really important. Your documentation has been updated, particularly in the area of discharge and medication management protocols. For you, you also spoke about the benefit of the interaction and the team working between all grades of staff and the interaction with the patient. We were honoured to be given a presentation from Professor Mary Ellen Glasgow, um, who, is, who is also our expert external reviewer for this research project. Her presentation on nursing midwifery and healthcare quality improvement experiences from the US. Professor Glasgow, you referenced a number of studies that we'd be aware of here that have found that the more nurses or midwives that are educated to degree level improves the likely outcome of positive outcomes for all patients. You also reiterated that as nurses and midwives, we need to practice to the full extent of our education and training. And similar to Ireland, the US nurses are the largest group of healthcare professionals caring for patients, 
and consequently then will have the greatest impact on patient outcomes. In developing a culture of quality, Professor Glasgow explored the just culture model, which places the focus on the quality of system design or on behavior choices rather than focusing on errors. You contend that there is a need for each and every one of us to reflect on our culture and the systems of which we are a part. The need to incorporate just culture and safety into curriculum development will in turn support nurses and midwives who are committed to quality outcome and continuous improvement to deliver better patient outcomes. Again, your favorite quote was, without standards, there can be no improvement. And I think that is the theme throughout all presentations today. Care delivery, therefore, should be seen, and it should be safe, patient-centered, compassionate, effective, and efficient. The presentations today should provide encouragement for us how we as professionals can be incentivized through measuring the quality of care that we provide in order to develop a culture that is more transparent, accountable, and focused on improvement going forward. In closing this event, I'm going back to Anne's comment at the beginning of, the, of this, this morning, where Anne asked us to celebrate and remember, what, as nurses and midwives, what we have achieved. I'd like to thank you all for attending. I hope that you enjoy the presentations and that they will inspire you to support and adopt the practice of quality care metrics in your area of work going forward. Thank you very much.